let's see. The war is going good, but there's something missing. More skulls? That's it, see? I got me the skulls of all the war bosses I killed. Stern skull and that farseer skull. So who are missing? Oh yeah, that git crawl. I need his head for me pointy stick. And you know how I'm getting him to come after me? You gonna call him a grunt? We'll call that plan stupid. I named it after you. No, the way to get Crow crazy mad is to attack his Titan. Then he'll come for me. Hey, was you grinning? Because you named a plan after me! What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to level 5 of this Dawn of War Winter is Assault. I smaller than Crocs as men. To reach yeah. Crow, man, we are gonna have to rob him of his boys. That means attack the Titan. So Crow got no choice but to send his bodyguards to protect the Titan. Please. Then, Maybe when another Crow's people. boys are this gone, we and him we attack yeah. Crow and Deal take right his skull. Um, welcome to level 5 of Dawn of War Winter Assault from the Disorder campaign on the Orc perspective. And as you can see, the approach to this level is completely different to the other three races in this game. We start off on the side, we also have a base up and running, but now instead of taking the Titan, the quest is going to be to destroy the Titan, or at least do enough damage to it, in order to bait out the chaos <coughs> troops in order to come and fight us uh, this this mission is very straightforward there is nothing special really that needs to be done build an army start attacking the Titan lower the forces over here and then go in for trolls we are going to be facing the Necrons as well but this time we're not going to have the Titan to assist us we're going to have to destroy the Necrons with pure brute force. Now, before we really get started with anything, we just need to get some of the basics up and running, hold off against any Imperial attacks, which are going to happen frequent, but they usually consist of Guardsmen, so you can hold that off with upgraded war banners and listening posts. And of course, your, your typical forces over here. Um, we requisition. but they still got some fight in them. They deserve a battle all good and proper. Time to kill these Yumis quick, so we can take our time with that get crop. Find and kill the remaining Imperials. Requisition is not really going to be much of a problem, but um, nonetheless, we should try to get these two listening posts over here for ourselves and build a couple of defenses on the side, get them upgraded as well so that we can move out with ease while the Imperials attempt to attack us. For the time being, we are going to be staying inside. Don't even bother with researching that. We do need to get a pile of weapons, though. Gonna make it nice and strong. The fight? Get that upgraded. Every little bit on our side. And while they're busy, let's go and see about claiming this missing post over here. Ah, here they come. Send me to the fight. What is it? Send me to the fight. The rest of the We're not too worried about losing the sluggers. What now? Oh, hey, boss. Fix what? Once these get upgraded to big guns add ons, then. Uh, then the defense is going to be a whole lot stronger. There we 
go. Now we're just going to mow them down. In the meantime, let's get some of our upgrades up and running. This is going to survive. Try not to lose the squad, so. Ah, oh, we lost the squad. Great job, I probably should have done take down the last cast grenade. Ah, well, our um, requisition is coming up steadily, so it's not too bad. Get the blast here research. It's going to significantly increase the damage of our slug of, of our shooters. And um and yeah, afterwards just get more squats. Let's do the requisition pile up. We need to get to 60 orc supply in order to Oh wait a minute. Oh hey, Oh oh okay. No. My apologies, we just need to have the orc cap on that amount so that we can get the orc fort. With the Orchid Ford upgraded, we can get access to better research. It's definitely something that we should attain to. Yeah, let's let's get these up and running. They do a massive amount of damage against infantry units, especially the the guardsmen. So we can clear out their forces a whole lot easier if we get that on our side. Yeah, their damage has gone up by much. A whole 10 points. So that that is that is quite a lot in, in terms of this game. And with this upgrade is going to go even higher. So shooters shooters are pretty awesome against infantry to say the least. I I, I consider them to be among the stronger of the infantry damage wise in, in um the, the, the Dawn of War games. And of course, let's not forget about armor. Well, let's, we'll start attending to tanks once we start heading out to this direction. The Lehman Russ is a pretty challenging thing to kill. So we're going to need like tank busters and especially killer cans. The killer cans are very effective at taking them down. I get all of them upgraded yes i did okay now we can invest into getting the orchid fort so that we can have the ever climbing requisition oh great that's another one of our squads what happens when you're not paying attention no matter, they're pretty cheap. I had a bit of a sloppy start for this level, but for the most part, I would say things are going well. Where are those tank busters? There we go. Is the first 
making things easy. Okay, we've got a good amount of units going on now. Upgrades are coming on steadily. The Orchid Fort is almost done. Now we can start investing in Tequila Cans. Getting two knob squads is also going to be a very good idea for us because they're very durable and they do a ton of damage. Shooting us. Oh! Demon Rust. Wonder why we lost so many forces this round. Didn't even realize that we were being attacked by Lehman Russ. This location over here, we can also set up a war banner or two, just to have a little bit of defense, just for in case. And also to get our population cap maxed out. We only need about two killer cans in order for them to be really effective at taking down the Lehman Russ. We will usually lose at least one in a battle like this as the Lehman Russ is also very effective at taking down vehicles, especially something as slow as a killer can. Nonetheless, um, we should engage them with the killer cans. Getting extra vehicle armor is also going to be a good idea. But it takes time to upgrade though, so I'd rather get our tanks first and then we can invest money into something like that. Just get uh, our upgrades at least up and running before we engage these forces. Yeah, these, this is what I was talking about, these kinds of attacks are going to occur. Might be a good idea to come and repair these wall banners instead of just losing them. Definitely get the rocket launchers. On the big boss. Send me to the fight. Let's just at least get our armor up and running and let the engagement begin. Should definitely try to get another mega knob. Just focus fire the Lehman Russ. Both of them, if you can help it, and we've got to upgrade this. Not the end of the world, but a lot more damage could have been done. Those yeah, as you can see, when they focus fire the killer can, it, it dies off pretty quickly. You can of course send in your Gretchen in order to repair your killer cans, but it's not a must. You can end up losing those as well. Ah, engagement with the chaos as well. Let the chaos clear out the most of the world. Okay, we should see about getting over to the fortified turrets. Just for that extra bit of requisition. Okay, 
Taking down the Chaos Warrior is not going to be difficult. Oh. Just get out of range of that. Rust. Okay, so as you can see when attacking the, the Titan, you attract the attention of the Chaos, which is exactly what we want to do. However, uh, let's not have our... Let's, let's not lose our knobs, because they will be moving through an area that they shouldn't be going through. Perfect opportunity for us to upgrade that. Keep our vehicles attacking this, and then we can take down the rest of the chaos area. Space Marines over here are making it very difficult for us. Teleport on top of those. Make it a little bit difficult for them to fire. Yeah, and his army has lessened quite a bit. to speed up taking down tanks we can make another tank buster squad but I think for the most part we're doing okay let's rather get these squads maxed out as you can see it takes up a lot of cap to maintain these Destroying one of these Titan weapons takes forever. Honestly does. You don't really have to destroy it, it's just meant to bait out uh, the Chaos Warriors. Other than that, if you want to ignore it, you can do it. Okay. Can keep the vehicles going at this. Let's, um, actually, no, 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 no. Let's send our army down. We don't want to pass through this small area over here because the, the Lehman Rush and the Weizmann are just going to shoot the shit out of our units. So it's better to take the long way around as we'll have a lot less casualties that way. Yeah, we might as well. Which way? Hello? Who's there? Water is the first in a fight! Water is the first in a fight! He to blow stuff up! Fight. Ready for stomping? Orcs is the biggest Water and the strongest! Send me to the fight! Orcs is meant for fighting and winning! Orcs is meant for fighting and winning! 
Definitely get those power claws. They increase their damage significantly. You don't see it over here, but it does make them a whole lot stronger against all types of units. Okay, now we can attack this group over here. And get more of the chaos to engage us. Activate the wards, it's gonna make this quicker. Okay, now it's time for us to go and engage Chaos here in the middle. And just as we do that, the Necron should be coming out to play. Okay, so we we got extra forces in order to assist us in this fight. A lot of a lot of shooters. Now all we need to do is just take these things down. 
easy and straightforward. Beating them with the orcs is pretty easy, actually. The orcs is overwhelming numbers make sure to work up monoliths. The biggest problem is the Necron Warriors, to be honest. Other than that, nah, no problem. I mean, yeah, especially with the Power Claws. Look at how quickly we destroy a monolith. Correctly, two more monoliths are going to come raining down, and we just need to go and destroy those. And then after that, it's the chaos. Yeah. Yeah. is the biggest and the strongest. Yeah? Ready for stomping? Ready for stomping? I'm too big to be beat. I'm too big to be beat. This better be good. One should be descending soon. Scary thought to think that infantry units could demolish a building this quickly, especially a one as big as powerful, powerful as the Necron Monolith. That also makes sense if they do well against the Necrons because the orcs were designed to do battle with the Necrons in the first place. Going into the Dawn of War lore, or Warhammer lore. Make sure that you destroy all of the Necrons. Otherwise, um, you're gonna have to go back in order to attain to that. than just two yeah Ready. oh Ready. man what a yeah. misclick Seriously now, where? 
Yeah, jeez. Yeah. Okay, where are all of our killer cans? Last of the Necrons, and finally, we can bring this level to an end. to do is get gore guts at Kral's location and then the duel will take place. In order to do that we have a bit of an obstacle to face but nothing major really. I've got quite a couple of Chaos Predators but they're unupgraded so dealing with them is not going to be difficult at all. And then once we get to the base we're just going to take gore guts and run through. Don't even bother too much with taking down all of the predators. We actually, in fact, we just want to get four guts through. We have enough in order to deal with their army properly and effectively. On our way up, we are going to encounter a bloodthirster as well. And, um,. We can just bypass all of that. I want this to end. It's gonna be the end. Crawl! Your pretty skull is mine. I'll get you. I'll send down Korn's wrath upon your heads and boil the blood from your veins! Chaos boys, 
And even them Necrons! That was a good war! And your pointy stick got plenty of them skulls! Those are pretty trophies! But what you gonna do next, ho oh, boss? There's nobody left to beat! That's right! I'm the biggest, baddest war boss on the planet! I wonder where the nearest other planet is. Alright, there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is the complete conclusion of Dawn of War Winter Assault. We've played through both the Order and Disorder campaign, and now we can finally lay this to rest. So, the next one that will be coming up is Dawn of War Dark Crusade. That is a different work in progress, and I've already pre-planned how I'm going to be approaching that one, which I will be explaining once I start with that playlist. Until then, thank you very much for all of the support. Thank you very much for watching the videos. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy these videos and you're a newcomer. And stay tuned for the upcoming videos of Dawn of War. Keep well, everyone, and I'll see you next time.